getting started with the IPVM camera calculator, go ahead and add a camera to the map. And you'll see that there is this button to add camera. We're going to click it here. And now we have a camera on the map. And you can see that we can just click the camera icon. We can move it around. A couple of key things you're looking at. Here, if it's on where Google Maps is a street preview, this is somewhere on a farm road in Kansas, you will see literally what it looks like on that farm road in Kansas. The other thing you'll see in the lower right hand side is a pixels per foot preview. So this is saying eight pixels per foot and you can see the image quality doesn't look that good. So what can we do here? Well, one thing I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so we can see this in more detail. There's a number of adjustments that you can make. First of all, you'll notice the angle of view, and this is up top here in the upper left hand side, is 100 degrees. So that's a fairly wide angle of view. So we can adjust this on the map and we can move it in, and now you'll see it's only 78 degrees. You'll also notice that automatically the field of view displayed has been adjusted, and also the pixel per foot, because you have a, a narrower field of view, now you have more pixels per foot. Uh, we could also just type in here, so let's just say go over here and say we only want a 60 degree angle of view. Okay, and now we have that, all right, and that's looking even a little bit better. Of course, there are other things that we can do with the IPVM camera calculator. You'll notice up top here in the upper left-hand side, the resolution is at 1080p, but we could change it. So for instance, let's say you go to 4K. Now you can see the difference of same angle of view, same distance. Now you have it at 4K, 33 pixels per foot. Other things you could do, you could say move the target closer, say listen, all we want to do is at the intersection, right? And you'll see like if we're at the intersection, I'm try to adjust this up and down to see what's our exact field of view or where we want to look at, okay, right down that road um, at a distance of 53.8 feet, and we can read this up top, we're going to get 61.8 pixels per foot with this setup. Now, of course, we can add more cameras. So one handy feature here is you can right click here and you'll get an option to add a camera. So now we've added another camera here and we can add yet a third camera there and we can have cameras, for instance, looking the opposite way. So we'll now we'll have a camera looking back the other way uh, on this road. So getting into some more advanced features, we can start uh, assigning specific camera models. So if you see over here, we've got lots of different camera manufacturers and we can pick from them. I'm just randomly going to pick Samsung, we'll pick this camera or this camera or that camera. I mean, you can just sort of click around and see sort of what camera that you want. But you'll notice here that this is a camera with a fixed angle lens uh, and it knows exactly its angle of view and its focal length and its max resolution. So we're going to select that. And you'll see here is that the resolution automatically changed. It locks it in at 720p because this specific camera only supports 720p. You'll also notice that you can't change the angle of view. Um, still goes back to 78 degrees. Why? Because this camera only supports 78 degrees, so it keeps it fixed at that. So that is a little bit in terms of using camera models. We can also name this. So I'm going to right click and edit the camera and we can call it basically our 78 degree camera. You could call it the you know farm road uh, west camera if you wanted to. You can add some notes about this. You know need to provide solar uh, and a wireless link for this camera. And then once you have these things laid out, you can do a couple things. Here's a permalink feature. So if you click permalink you can then share this, like this link, you could give this, you can click the copy field, send an email, give it to whoever you want, and then they'll actually see these three cameras laid out. Uh, you also notice we have this camera list. So we see we've got all of this listed out, and this becomes really helpful like if you start adding a lot of cameras. So now it see it says four cameras here, and we can add a camera over here inside the farm field. So now we have five cameras. One of the really powerful things that you can do is you can export all of this. So let me show you what that looks like. My favorite is the PowerPoint, but you can use PDF, Word docs, etc. But let me show you what it looks like when we export it in a PowerPoint. Uh, as that's exporting, you can also uh, save this as a project. So we can save this and call our uh, Kansas uh, Farm Road project. Um, this will be saved to your account. All right, great, and then our uh, PowerPoint export is here. So let's take a look at uh, what it looks like in PowerPoint. All right, so here's our presentation. 
Um, and you'll notice this is our overview. So right, you get an overview first of all your cameras, and then it zooms into each one. So this is the first camera we did, right? The 4K resolution one at the farm intersection, 62 pixels per foot. Then we have our 78 degree camera, right? Which is the Samsung SDC camera. And we see basically, it obviously has a much lower pixels per foot uh, because it's only a 720p camera. And then it basically has each of the other cameras, including uh, our camera in the middle of the uh, farm field. So that gives you a, a sense of what you can do on the exporting as well in terms of sharing with other people. Uh, you could also, for instance, do it in a Word doc if you wanted to send it out like in a, a report, your own report uh, to a customer, prospect, internal user, so on and so forth. Uh, but that's really the most fundamental elements um, in the camera calculator. Uh, next, we'll go into, uh, in separate videos or in follow-up videos, into more specific advanced features. Thank you. So now let's see how we can use markups and floor plans to make even more complex and sophisticated designs. So let's say we want to add in a building over here uh, and say it's not built yet. So I'm going to just put it over here and say our building is going to look something like so. All right. So we've got a, a building that we put there uh, and we might have a, a pole. So let's go in here and add a pole. Let's say our pole is going to be right about there. Great, we've got a pole. If we wanted to uh, change uh, what its color looks like, maybe we make it black and black. So we've got our black pole here, and maybe we want to uh, mount a camera there. So we're going to put a camera right on this pole, and then this camera is going to be looking out towards the intersection. Great, we've got a camera there. And let's say if we zoom out, we have over here, great, we've got some of our buildings here. So let's say this is our farm for example, and we want to put some indoor cameras, we'll go to a floor plan, and this is just a sample floor plan, but I'm going to put this in here. So it'll upload uh, this image of the floor plan, and then we can go and scale it to make sure that our sizing is correct. Uh, so for instance, we have our, uh, what do we got over here? Yeah, I guess we can use this sort of entranceway. It's usually there two and a half feet. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more to make sure that I do this correctly. There we go go. It looks pretty correct. We put 2.5 feet and we're going to click scale and there we go. So it's scaled down over here. Uh, we can move this up. So let's move this up and let's say hypothetically uh, that this is our, we'll let's call it right over here. Great. We've got that there. We've got our floor plan. We'll zoom in a little bit more and then we can start adding in some more cameras. Okay. We've got a loft over here and let's add a camera for our loft. Uh, let's change the distance here. Let's say it's about 10 feet and then we'll swing it around over here and great. We've got a camera over here on the indoors. We can make it bigger, wider. Uh, we could, of course, just like we did with any of our other cameras, we could change the resolution. Let's do a three megapixel camera. Great. looks really good. We can add in some other cameras in our great room here, so on and so forth. And you get sort of what you can do uh, with that. And let's see. Let's zoom out. And let's see, so let's see what we have now in our project. Also a handy feature, we can click to view all cameras. So now we're looking at all of our cameras. So you see we have eight cameras here. Um, other things that we could do is, so we've got our new building here, our, our house over there. Uh, what if we wanted to show that we were going to connect them? Well, one thing we could do is we could then use our line markup. And then we could go over here. And then we could uh, go out a little bit further out. We'll do that to there. Uh, also, interesting thing you'll note here. Let me scan this up a little bit, uh, up, up, and there we go. And we'll see that over here that this is a 640 foot line, or that's the distance from, from one end to the other. And we could connect this now over to the house. So I'm going to extend this out over here and I'm going to continue my line and boom. So it's right into the house from there. We could also add in a couple of labels here. So we're going to basically over here, we might add this label. Uh, let's call this our outbuilding 2016 uh, constructed and I'm just going to adjust this to make this look a little bit better. It looks pretty good. I'm going to put this next to it here. Uh, and so we've got our markups. We've got our pole over here. We might want to include a little bit more information here. Uh, let's say we wanted to put the uh, what more information about the pole. We might put basically pole 20 feet high, um, the materials used, etc. 
so that we have that mapped over there. And I'm just going to make this look a little bit better, put it right next to it, so on and so forth. Uh, and then we have our label for that. There we go. There we go, a little bit more. Great. All right, so we've got all of that mapped out. So you see we've got our floor plans, our markups, uh, our labels, and all of this is coming together. So that again, let me use my view all cameras feature. Boom, we've got all of our cameras. We've got our information there. Um, and that's pretty much what you can do in terms of the more advanced side with markups and labels. Thank you.